Hey everybody, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. And wow, it's been a long time since I've made a video. Wow. <laughs> and as you guys can probably tell, and as I will tell you in an upcoming video, there have been some pretty big changes in my life. I'm gonna be making some changes to this channel. And again, I'll explain all that in an upcoming video. But for this video, I have a particular topic in mind, so let's just dive right into it. It's kind of a weird first video back, but well, it all started today when I was watching the Wendy Williams show. I'm a pretty regular watcher of the show and and she said something in her Hot Topics segment of the show that gave me a minute's pause. She was talking about a contestant on The Bachelorette who I guess in the last episode revealed that he's a virgin at 26 and well she said that she doesn't trust anybody who doesn't smoke, drink, or have sex. Huh? <laughs> now this kind of gives me a moment's pause because I'm sitting here listening to this and I'm thinking, well, okay, Wendy, so you're saying that you wouldn't trust me because I don't drink, smoke, or have sex. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to make this video to like put Wendy on blast or anything. I'm a huge fan of her show and you know, I'm not like hating on what she said. She has a right to her opinion, but I just don't understand it. And I kind of wanted to share my opinion and say, there's no reason not to trust people like that. And I kind of wanted to give you guys my perspective. First off, I don't drink not because I'm morally opposed to alcohol or I think it's wrong. I mean, I'd be kind of a hypocrite if I thought it was wrong because, well, for 17 years, alcohol was my family business. My parents owned and operated a liquor store. And, well, obviously that paid our family's bills. So I don't have a problem with it. I just have no desire to get drunk. You know, I like having control of my mental faculties. I like being aware of the world around me, so I don't want to be, what's the word, inebriated. I have no desire to be, and, you know, it, yeah, I just don't want to. I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, and I also have no desire to smoke, and I mean cigarettes or anything else for that matter, and I have no desire to do any other illegal drugs because... I mean, honestly, it boils down to this. I can think of a million and one other ways for me to have fun and cope with the stress in my life. It's, I just, yeah, I don't feel like getting drunk or partying and doing drugs or abusing prescription drugs. And I just, none of that appeals to me and you know, as long as you're drinking alcohol responsibly and you're smoking cigarettes responsibly because that stuff legal, fine, whatever. That's your prerogative, but that's just not something I'm into and I'm not gonna apologize for that. And I don't think it makes me not trustworthy. And since this whole thing started with a 26 year old revealing that he's a virgin, I'll just say this. I'm 26 and I'm a virgin. Yes, I've never had sex and I do not plan to have sex until I get married. I know, I know, a millennial who's saving herself for marriage, I'm like a rare unicorn or something. I, it's just, my generation just has a different attitude about sex and quite frankly, you know, no judgment here. It's everybody's personal choice, but it kind of scares me because in my point of view, sex is probably the most important, special, sacred, just serious thing that two people can share with each other. And I just feel like I can't share that with somebody without the ultimate commitment of marriage. You know, not being engaged, not 
living together or dating for a certain period of time, it, for me, it has to be marriage. And again, I'm, I make no apologies for that. And if I never get married, then fine. I'll never have sex. I'll be the 40 year old virgin. I don't give a crap. It makes no difference to me. I'm fine one way or another. I'm looking for my Mr. Right and I'm saving myself for him. Plain and simple. And again, I'm not judging anybody who's made a different decision as long as you're responsible about your sexual activity and you know, you understand what you're doing and what you're getting yourself into, that's your business. You know, but I've made this decision for myself and I feel amazing about it. And I think it's going to be a really positive thing in my life. And I would encourage anybody else to consider that as well. So yeah, that's kind of my take on the whole thing. Again, this video is not in any way intended to be hating on Wendy Williams. I'm a huge fan of hers. In fact, Wendy, if somehow you see this because this video ended up in the Hot Topics Bureau. How you doing? <laughs> that, can I pull that off? No, I don't think I can. But yeah, I just, I'm a big fan of Wendy and it just kind of, hearing her say that was just like, huh, okay. And I just wanted to share that there are actually some legitimate reasons why people who don't drink, smoke, or have sex conduct themselves like that. It's perfectly good reasons and uh, in fact, I think that makes us kind of even more trustworthy. Again, just my opinion, not hating or judging anybody, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video and put my thoughts out there because it just seemed like I should because this is really some important decisions that I've made for my life and you know, I don't feel like I have to defend them. I just wanted to share my thoughts and my reasons why. And on that note, I'm gonna quit babbling or else this video will take forever. And I don't want you guys to sit here and watching me babble that long. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And you know, if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with anybody who you think might also find it interesting. And well, subscribe if you haven't already because every subscriber is welcome, loved and appreciated. Comment your thoughts down below. Don't forget to hit the notification button because apparently that's now a thing on YouTube. Whatever. Not even. Whole other topic. Whole, whole other topic. Whole other video. I won't go there. But yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.